Hi and welcome to a video tutorial on how to create a bar chart. Uh, in this case, um, there's a vertical bar chart and we give it uh, a lot of um, tables uh, or data to select from. So this is not quite straightforward, but um, it's a very simple question. Uh, we're going to answer question 12 to 15. And this is a 2021, um, yeah, 2021, 2020, sorry, uh, 2020 specimen paper. Um, so we're going to use this uh, file here, which is j2120growth.csv. So I'll locate that file. And um, so that is it here. And double click on it. Now you will see that this particular file has... Um, just increase the size. Now you realize that I have the years for 2020 to 2023 at the, at the top here. And um, here below I have cross country, okay? And cross country has these uh, inventories, okay? So we are going to plot this year here against that one over there. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to highlight the first um, row which is 2020 to 2023 hold on the control key and go to cross country and do the same for the items over there now the next thing to do is go to insert and then come to chat under the chat session the right beside the pie chart is the scatter diagram so you can see here scatter x and y so when i click on that here I select the first one. Now you can see that this give me some uh, representation of what I, I need to do, but we need to draw a bar chart. So I click on change chart type and then come to recent or just select here column. Okay. So I click on column and select that and click on OK. Or I can just double click on that. All right. So uh, that is how to create that particular uh, chart. Now back to the question. So here um, I've answered the first part of the question, which is creating a vertical bar chart to show the forecast of cross-country event only for this particular year. Now the next part of the question, 2013 says I label the chart with the title growth in cross-country event. So uh, we're going to do that. Um, come in here and then you'll find a plus sign here. Uh, no, just double click within the chart title and then uh, put in the heading as required of you. So I have done the label. Uh, 14 says the format the value as a skills to display the title number of events. So, so here the title is here. So the title will be number of events. So I'm going to copy this and then come to this part here click on the plus sign at the top of the chart here and then click on Aziz and then within this session here I put the number of events as it required of me. We were not asked to do anything for here, any labeling here so you just delete it by clicking on highlighting and clicking on delete. So that part of the question has been answered. The next part says the minimum value is 9,000 and then a maximum value of 10,500 and increases by 250. So back to the chart again. I click on this as this, which represents the number of events. Double click, uh, right click on it. You right click and click on format as this. Once you click on format as this, you have the minimum value here. So I change it to 9,000 and then change this here to. Uh, 10,500 as is required. Now we are asked to have an increment of um, 250. So that's the major, that's the major unit. So the major unit will be 250. Okay. So uh, that is how to go about that part of the question for 14. Now 15 say display only the values as data labels above each each uh, bar. So um, this here again, you come to the plus sign. Now, if you come to data label, this very one, you check on it. 
you have the values display above each of the years. So um, that is how to solve that part of the question. And says that do not display a category axis or a legend. So in this case here, our legend is not showing. So here it's not showing. And then, um, yeah. And then again, uh, yeah. So that is it. So, uh, yeah, basically that is it for this particular question. So to go over again, you want to change the maximum and minimum. You right click on this section here or just click on it and come to format as this. And then you get this part here, maximum, minimum. And that is how to go about it uh, for this particular question. Okay, so on that note, I bring you to the end of this tutorial. Uh, I encourage you to go through the same paper and there's a similar one in 2018. Try your hands on it and uh, see if you can perfect yourself before the exams. So till we meet again, bye-bye.